All right. Fine. Oh, Jesus. Uh, d -d 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 okay, uh, right. Well, I've kind of riled them up a bit. <laughs> Don't know if I should have done that. But uh, basically, we've got to make a break for the Dome of the Rock here. Uh, obviously you need to break into Jerusalem, but Jerusalem is pretty weakly defended by themselves. Uh, they don't have any villagers, so they can't really make any more troops. So that's probably not going to be the problem. The problem is Saladin now, uh, I would say. Alright, so I went and saved there. Uh, uh, yeah, I just went and saved right there. Uh, did they convert my guy? How the fuck did they do that? Alright, so I think my stable is still making dudes, which is not really what I want, so... Uh, okay, so we're, we're having a trebuchet duel here to the death. I don't know what, why you would think that was a good idea, but uh, apparently you do. And that gold is done, which means these villagers are going to be my castle builders. Alright, um... Now the problem is, I do have trebuchets. That are bearing on me, bearing in on me. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna wait for this bombard to come out, and then I'm gonna build a castle, and I'll be attacking a wall at the same time, and hopefully I can do something like that with that. Oh, fuck. Where the hell is the monk? Oh, he's there. I think one of my elephants died. Alright, so I'm gonna go attack that area right there. So that wall is gonna be my uh, my region. LOL. Get attacked by the bombard. Alright, okay. Uh, so apparently they're just making guys over here and I'm not having that all right so putting villagers in actually does help your uh, does help uh, when it comes to I'm trying to really concentrate here all right so no more of this it helps because uh, infantry actually uh, covers uh, extra attack when you're the Teutons and you get crenellations. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> so we're gonna get this villager to build here and we're also gonna get a couple more bombard cannons. And I'm gonna say I'm probably gonna retreat these guys a little bit. Which should be good. Alright, getting some longbow action here. Oh. I think you lost the trebuchet duel. Alright, so I'm really getting annoyed by this guy. So uh, what we're going to do is kill, or hopefully kill, one of their uh, their monks and then try and take this building out. It's annoying me. Alright, so we're going to heal up here. And we're going to... Going to just stick with this castle. Alright, so I do have four bombard cannons, gonna be five. So plan is move through here, take down this, take out anyone who's trying to uh, come attack me, build a castle here, move into the town, take out any defend, uh, defensive structures and bring my guy all the way down. And that is a bad bad idea, why did you do that? No attack stance. So they're just going to throw troops at that because they're dumb. And I'm going to bring my paladins back. I should have just destroyed that when I was there, but uh, apparently they they decided to go do it now. Okay. There's an monk. And yeah. <sighs> that scenario, man. They never use the stone for some reason. Speaking of stone, uh, let's just go on this gold now. I mean, I can get more uh, stone anyway from just uh, 
just buying it really at this point. But I'm waiting for these paladins here. Alright, so <laughs> these bombard cannons seem to get damaged a lot. I mean, I don't think they hit, you know, the five pierce armor. It's not that great. Okay, so we ready to attack? I guess. <laughs> I guess we're ready to attack. With the slowest moving army of all time. Luckily I can kind of convert these Mamluks as well. And we got a Longbowman to help us out here. Which isn't bad actually. That guy's so dead. Alright, uh, let's move all our troops in and we're going to move these guys in as well. So yeah, our em Emperor on the barrel has been sitting here the entire time. Which is good, because uh, we kind of want him to stay, stay safe. Yeah, that is an elite Wombo in there. Alright. Oh, well, let's, let's convert some of these guys, I guess. Let's kill everyone by converting them instead of actually running up and hitting them. And they just spam those units out, wow. Or did, was that their army pretty much? I think that was their army. Alright, let's, uh, let's actually kill some of these guys please. Huh. Okay. Saracens with long bowmen. I uh, can't say I enjoy that. Uh, right, uh, this isn't going so well actually. Attack the goddamn things. Oh my god. As they slowly pick off my monks. Well, I've got like all the slow moving units here. Alright, paladin time. Let's get some paladins out. Alright, I should be able to. Alright, now we're starting to get stuff done here. Kind of. Okay, I need to stay near that with my bombard cannons. I'll get them out later. Okay, so we'll just kind of let these guys go pretty loose on these guys. Because, yeah. Oh, come on. More onagers, really. This scenario really drags on too long. To be honest, I don't really like it very much. Specifically because... I would prefer to just win this, like the speedrun way, uh, because you can't win this in like the first 10 minutes. Well, not the first 10 minutes, but you can use the first 10, ten minutes to basically win the scenario. But look at this, I hate the range thing where they, they always go back. And like, look how many of these guys I'm going to have to take out. Um. from here. Alright, we're gonna get these guys to go around here. As I completely lose like all my pal all all my forces here. Can you not get in there? Are you serious? Okay, that's not what I wanted you to do. Ah oh, fuck that. It's just they have so many archers. Um, I mean I could make an army of skirmishers, I guess. I don't know if I can be bothered with that shit though. No, I really can't be bothered with that shit. Um, okay. I'm gonna try and do this instead is making our castle. Try. Uh, fuck. Alright, you know what guys, I, I'm gonna come back because this is taking way too long, so I'm gonna come back when I feel I'm safe enough to attack Jerusalem, so I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back and I basically went around this way and when I destroyed their castle it actually made this stuff a lot easier, but god that took forever. I probably should have sussed that out earlier, but uh, I don't know, they're still attacking me with Mamluks. I don't actually know how that's possible since uh, I believe maybe they have an our castle over here. 
or was those just some of the Mamluks left over? In which case, okay. But uh, yeah, they will actually attack you with a bunch of range units for some reason, but uh, I don't really care too much about them. So I did take out Jerusalem's gates. Unfortunately, um, they do have a bombard tower right there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to send some of these guys to do damage. Uh, that bombard tower is pretty insane, man. Always oh, has to be fair for a bombard tower. But, uh, you know. Okay, that's bad. Am I really going to lose this kit? Oh my god. Jesus. Yes. Alright, <laughs> I'm losing some paladins here as well. Okay, so hopefully I'll be able to just kind of, well, I, I can repair this after, but yeah, I, that took forever. Uh, I didn't even bother like, taking uh, these guys out very much, but one thing I can do now is to bring this uh, Emperor in a barrel down here. I can always bring it down here. Alright, so uh, we should be killing this monk here. And my got three bombards. Right, okay. So you really only need to kill these keeps and bombard towers and these two here. Uh, you might want to take it that one just in case, but you can literally just kind of go that way and reach there pretty easily. The problem is uh, obviously there are monks that I have taken out quite a few. I think I took out all their monks actually, nice. Uh, there's just a few arbalists running around, really, that's about it. Alright, so I'm going to try and get my Bombard Towers in the city, and I'm also going to try and repair. All right. So I'm going to repair that castle slowly. Alright, so we do have a uh, we do have an Arbor West here. Which I want to take him out. It looks like he's going to die anyway. Alright. So yeah, ranged units against these guys, not that effective, I would say. So yeah, that's not really going to be a problem. I'll take these guys just in case we get attacked here. And there's another Siege Onager, which I'm not really that happy to see. But uh, whatever. There are two of them, in fact. Alright. Let's take out these guys. Jesus, it takes forever for them to go. Alright, we're gonna get a couple monks out here too. Alright, so uh, that bombard tower went down. And this tower's gonna make its exit pretty soon. And we'll be able to finish the scenario, which takes forever, Jesus. I'm glad I cut out when I did, because that just took way too long. and wasn't that interesting honestly. It's because they have such a... I probably could have took this out but now I just want to get the scenario over with honestly so uh, yeah. Alright so where's my Emperor in a barrel? Let's uh, let's get him down here. Um, gotta be kinda careful. Don't want this castle and Bombard Tower taking it out right now. Alright, uh, don't take out their houses and don't take out the Dome of the Rock, otherwise you will lose the scenario and we'll have to do it all again, which uh, would suck. So uh, I'm not going to do Just a little bit more. That is true, Teutonic Soldier. Thank you for your input. Uh, I actually fully repaired this, so uh, this shouldn't be a problem now. So we just take out these keeps and uh, yeah, uh, these guys are on no attack stands, just checking. And there goes the Siege Onager. Alright. I don't even really need to bring the Paladins into the city. There's nothing really that could kill me now. So uh, we're just going to make sure that uh, nothing's really that close and bring our Emperor and a barrel down. I had actually uh, to. I actually started making trade cards because uh, I wasn't getting enough gold, but then I sold off all my food and that pretty much helped me out. And thankfully, that is the end of this annoying scenario. Uh, could have been a lot quicker, but uh, looks like we're going to settle for this. I did take out Damascus, though, so I'm happy with that. Richard didn't help at all. He just ran his longbowmen and, and they died, so... In fact, they even converted one of them. I don't know if he's still running around. 
I don't think so. He's probably dead by now. I don't think they have many. Has reached Jerusalem. Not in the manner he expected, but it is one final victory for Frederick Barbarossa. That is, yeah, I think that one woman died. But that's the end of the scenario. Check it real quick. I didn't destroy the Dome of the Rock. There is a legend concerning every great king, from Arthur on through Barbarossa, that says the king will return someday when his country needs him. Myths and legends about the sleeping emperor were passed down in German folk tales. The Holy Roman Empire did not endure. She fell back into a patchwork of tiny nations. Some would say Barbarossa's rule was a failure. But is it not a greater testament to the man that it was the force of his will alone that held the empire together? And what of Henry the Lion? With Barbarossa gone, there was nothing stopping him from returning to the Holy Roman Empire. But I am an old man now. What harm could I possibly do? Snap, man. The game went all M. Night Shyamalan on us. Uh, yeah, that, that, that twist, yo. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it was kind of interesting. Henry the Lion was the narrator, but I think they like to do that a lot. Where they have a character in the game or whatever eventually be the narrator. I think they do that in the Conquerors in one of the campaigns as well. I think. Yes, I'm almost sure. Okay, <laughs> not gonna say which one it is though. Alright, so, um, 24,000 score basically. I lost so many units, that is probably the most units I've lost. 152, but I think I killed the most units I've ever done in a scenario. They killed, uh, Jerusalem killed one of my unit. But yeah, I lost the most to Saladin there. Like, snap, he was really annoying. I thought Damascus was the worst enemy, but uh, apparently not. So, uh, when it comes to economy though, I did get so much gold, especially because I took the relic, the other relic from um, Saladin. So make sure you at least destroy his east base, but like, the rest of it's a nightmare to attack. I made eight castles, and it probably still wasn't enough, honestly. And it took me two hours game time, though I didn't show you all of it, but uh, there we go. That is the end of the scenario, the campaign, and the Age of Kings, basically. So there it is, I completed one part of this game at least, but I said before I was going to do the uh, expansion as well. Uh, I'm actually using the beta version right now, but uh, that might change eventually. It, it doesn't seem to have anything wrong with it, so yeah. Uh, so next we're going to do the Conqueror's campaigns. Uh, this begins with Attila the Hun, it goes to El Cid, which is kind of in Spain. Uh, or Spain, I, Portugal, I think. The, did we go to Portugal at one point? I can't remember. Uh, Montezuma and Battle of the Conquerors. Uh, I don't know if I actually showed this before, uh, but a Battle of the Conquerors is uh, not really a campaign in a, in itself. Uh, the other three are just uh, six scenario campaigns like we've seen before, but the Battle of the Conquerors is a bunch of scenarios that are kind of different factions and different timelines. So it's kind of single, single scenarios on their own, which is quite nice. Uh, at least you get to play like as the Koreans in one of them. You get to, play, uh, to be honest, you play as the Spanish quite a lot in the uh, campaign. So you, that's not really that much. You know the Spanish, right? Who was added in the Conquerors? Just so I remember, Aztecs, Mayans. But we don't see Mayans at all. Um, the Spanish, the Huns, and who else? There was one other that I'm forgetting. Oh God. I honestly have no idea what the other faction was. Shit. Was it the Korean? Yeah, it was the Koreans. Did I say that? I don't think I said that. So, Koreans, yeah. Koreans, Aztecs, Mayans, um, Huns, and Spanish. I think those were the f only five added. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. So, we'll be going on to, first of all, do Attila the Hun next time, which is a very good campaign by its own right. And I'll see you guys then on Age of Empires 2 The Conquerors.